Hello fourth grade. This week let's learn to code a new game in Scratch. Today let's code a race game. Make sure you follow along. On the home page, slide down to technology. Click technology. On the online tech page, slide down and click on fourth grade. Click fourth grade. Today's Google Classroom assignment says programming in scratch. Today we'll make a road rally game. It says, can you create a racing game and move the sprite with the keyboard? Watch the video and learn how to add a character and code a racing game of your own. Click the link for Scratch. Here's the starter project for our game. We need to add a sprite. To add our sprite to be our racer, go down to the bottom of the screen and click on the cat face. Click choose a sprite. You can scroll down and choose any sprite to be your character. I'm going to use mouse one. Click your sprite and move your sprite to the start. Click and hold and drag it to the start. You can see that my mouse is large. I'm going to resize my mouse. Go down to the size change 100 to something smaller. I'll change it to 50. Then hit enter. Now I can move my mouse once again to the start. If I need to change the direction of my sprite, click direction. Change the direction of your sprite by pulling the clock. I want my mouse to be at 90. Let's start the code. Let's go to an event. Click events. When the flag is clicked, I want my character to go to the starting lineup. Click when the flag is clicked. When the flag is clicked, I want my character to always go to this point on my screen. To do that, go to motion. Find go to X and Y. This is the fifth block down. Pull it out and connect it to when the flag is clicked. This is saying always go to this position when the flag is clicked. I also want to add one more to when the flag is clicked. Find point in direction. The point in direction will always lead your character to the starting lineup and put it in the right direction. If you change the direction of your character, this number might be different. Now let's code. Today we're going to use the arrow keys, the up, down, left, and right keys to move our character on our screen to make it go all the way around the track. Let's go to the events once again. Click events. The second event says when the space key is pressed. Click and hold and drag when space key is pressed. I want to change the space key to the up arrow key. Click space key and change it to the up arrow key. The up arrow key is going to make my character move forward. Now let's go to the control blocks. I want to find a repeat until block. Slide down. Do you see the repeat until then there's a condition and then there's a coding block. Click and hold repeat until and drag it up and connect it to when the up arrow key is pressed. I want my character to move forward 
when I'm holding down the up arrow key. When I'm not holding the up arrow key, I want my character to stop. So I want to go to the operators. Click the green operators button. I want the word not. Click and hold on not and drag it out and connect it inside of the diamond. This is repeating something until something is negative, not. Now I'll go to the sensing blocks. Click the blue sensing blocks. I want to look for the key space pressed. Click and hold on key space pressed and drag it up and put it into the knot. Change the space to what we're coding for, the up arrow key. Now our code says when the up arrow key is pressed, repeat until the up arrow key is not being pressed. What do we want it to do? We want it to go forward. Go to motion. Click and drag, move 10 steps. Let's see what happens. Hold down the up arrow key. Does my character go forward? Yes, it does. I can slow it down by clicking on moving 10 steps and making it go one step. That's going to slow down my mouse. Click the flag to bring your mouse back to the start. Now I want my mouse or my character to go backwards. I'm going to write the same code, only this time using the down arrow key. Do you remember? First, go to events. Then find when the space key is pressed. Change it to the down arrow key. Go to the control blocks. Find the repeat until block. Click and hold on repeat until and connect it to the when the down arrow key is pressed. Now we want to find the operator not. Click the green operators and pull out the word not and add it to the diamond. Right above the operators are the sensing blocks. Click on the blue sensing blocks. Find key space pressed. Always remember to match the key that you're working with to this coding block. This needs to say the down arrow key. What do we want to have happen? The character is going to move backwards. Go to motion. Click move 10 steps. Only instead of moving 10 steps forward, we want to move steps backwards. Click 10 steps. This time add a negative. This is the dash by the zero on your keyboard. Now choose one or 10 or how fast you want your character to move. Let's try it out. Use your up arrow key. Press your back arrow key. Very nice. Our character now moves forward and back. Now we want our character to curve or turn using the left and right arrow keys. Let's write our code once again. Go to events. When the space key is pressed, only this time it's going to be when the right arrow key is pressed. Go to control, find the repeat until block. Operators for the not. The not code fits into the diamond. Now go to the sensing blocks. Find key space pressed. Remember to match your code. Right arrow key when the right arrow key is pressed. What's going to happen? I want my character to turn. Go to motion. Move 15 degrees to the right. 
we can make it larger or smaller by changing the number. Let's try it out. Forward is the up arrow key. Backwards is the down arrow key. The right arrow key moves my mouse to the right. One more coding block that I want to write. Go to the events. Go to when space key is pressed. This time it will be the left arrow key. Go to control, add, repeat until. Remember operators and pull out the not code. Right above operators is sensing key space pressed. Match left arrow with left arrow key. Then finally, the motion blocks. Click and hold on turn to the left 15 degrees. I'm going to change it to five degrees. Let's try our game. Click the flag. Move forward by holding the up arrow key, turning. Try to get your character all the way around the track. Nice job. You can speed up your character by changing the steps forward. Anything higher than one will make it go faster. Remember, to make it go backwards, add the negative sign. Good luck with this game and have fun. And I'll see you next week.